How does that work? Just be glad it does. I've got a party tonight. It's my brother's 21st. My mother's gonna be really... Really? You okay? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Do you wanna go back in? No way. I mean, we could die any minute, but all the same. It's beautiful. Do you think? How many people want to go to the moon? And here we are. Standing in the earth light. What do you think happened? What do you think? Extraterrestrial. It's got to be. I don't know, a few years ago that would have sounded mad, but these days, that spaceship flying into Big Ben, Christmas, those Cybermen things. I had a cousin, Adiola. She worked at Canary Wharf. She never came home. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was there. In the battle, I was. I promise you, Mr. Smith, we will find a way out. If we can travel to the moon, then we can travel back. There's got to be a way. It's not Smith. That's not my real name. Who are you, then? I'm the doctor. Me too, if I ever pass my exams. What is it, then, Dr. Smith? Just the doctor. How do you mean, just the doctor? Just the doctor. What people call you the doctor? Yeah. Well, I'm not. As far as I'm concerned, you've got to earn that title. All right, better make a start, then. Let's have a look. Must be some sort of... Force field. Keeping the air in. But if that's like a bubble sealing us in, that means this is the only air we've got. So what happens when it runs out? How many people in this hospital? I don't know, a thousand? One thousand people. Suffocating. Why would anyone do that? Heads up. Ask him yourself. Shakespeare! But these carinite phrases, they need such precision! 
trust yourself. When you're locked away in your room, the words just come, don't they? Like magic. Words are the right sound, the right shape, the right rhythm. Words that last forever. That's what you do, Will. You choose perfect words. Do it. Improvise. Close up this din of hateful dire decay. Decomposition of your witch's plot. You thieve my brains, consider me your toy. My doting doctor tells me I am not. No! Run to power! Foul, Kainite Spectres! Cease your show between the points! 761390! 761390! Vanish like a tinker's curse! I say to thee! Yeah. Labour's won. There it goes. Fact is special indeed. It's not your best line. Six. I've sent you a flight path. Come to the Senate. On my way. It's quite a while since I saw you, Martha Jones. Doctor! Oh, it's all right. Come say hello. And this is Haim. She's a cat. Don't worry. He's the one that saved you, not me. My lord gave his life to save the city. And now he's dying. No, don't say that. My old bow. Plenty of life left. It's good to breathe the air once more. Who is he? I don't even know. Legend says the face of Bo has lived for billions of years. Isn't that right? And you're not about to give up now. 
Everything has its time. You know that, old friend, better than most. The legend says more. Don't, no need for that. It says that the face of Bo will speak his final secret to a traveler. Yeah, but not yet. Who needs secrets, eh? I have seen so much. Perhaps too much. I am the last of my kind. As you are the last of yours, Doctor. That's why we have to survive. Both of us. Don't go. I must. But know this, Time Lord. You are not alone. I'm begging you, just save yourself, just run. Just go. Go. Keep walking. I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, well, then you can kiss me later. You too, Frank, if you want.
your future. Planet Earth will become new, Scarrow! Oh, and what a world. With anything just the slightest bit different ground into the dirt. That's Dalek sick. Don't you remember? The cleverest Dalek ever, and look what you've done to him. Is that your new empire? Hmm? Is that the foundation for a whole new civilization? My Daleks. Just understand this. If you choose death and destruction, then death and destruction will choose you. Incorrect! We always survive! Now we will destroy our greatest enemy, the Doctor! But he can help you! The Doctor must die! No! I beg you, don't! Exterminate! <laughs> Your own leader. The only creature who might have led you out of the darkness and you destroyed him. Do you see what I did? Huh? You see what a Dalek really is? Warning! Dalek humans show increased levels of serotonin. If I'm gonna die, let's give the new boys a shot. What do you think, eh? The Dalek humans, their first blood. Go on. Baptize them! Dalek humans, take aim! What are you waiting for? Give the command. Exterminate! <laughs> Exterminate! Obey! Dalek humans will obey! Not firing. What have you done? You will obey! Exterminate! Why? Daleks do not question orders! But why? You will stop this! But why? You must not question! But you are not our master. And we... We are not Daleks. No, you're not. And you never will be. Sorry. I got in the way of the lightning strike. Time Lord DNA got all mixed up. Just that little bit of freedom. If they will not obey, then they must die! You did it. You're free. The Dalek humans are failures! Destruct! 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 <laughs> no! They can't! They can't! They can't! What happened? What was that? They killed them. Rather than let them live. An entire species. Genocide. Only two of the Daleks have been destroyed. One of the Dalek Masters must still be alive. Oh, yes. In the whole universe. Just one. You're so sentimental, Doctor. Maybe you are older than you look. I'm old enough to know that a longer life isn't always a better one. In the end, you just get tired. Tired of the struggle. Tired of losing everyone that matters to you. Tired of watching everything turn to dust. If you live long enough, Lazarus, the only certainty left is that you'll end up alone. That's a price worth paying. Is it? Leave him, Lazarus. 
He's old and bitter. Thought he has a taste for fresh and meat. Martha, no. <laughs> Instead, you should have enough time. But just do it, Tish! <laughs> Is he alright? Excuse me, Martha. It's hardly good form to enter a master's study without knocking. Sorry. Right, yeah. But is he alright? I said you fell down the stairs, sir. No, uh, it's just a tumble, that's all. Have you checked for concussion? I have, and I dare say I know a lot more about it than you. Sorry. I'll just tidy your things. I was just telling Nurse Redfern, matron, um, about my dreams. They are quite remarkable tales. Um, I keep imagining that I'm someone else and that I'm hiding. Hiding? In what way? Um, uh, but almost every night... Uh, <laughs> mm, this is going to sound silly. Tell me. I dream quite often that, that I have two hearts. Well, then I can be the judge of that. Let's find out. Confirm the diagnosis. Just one heart. Mm. Singular. I have um, I have written down some of these dreams in the form of fiction. Um, not that it would be of any interest. I'd be very interested. Well, Rashi, I've never shown it to anyone before. Journal of Impossible Things. Such imagination. Oh, uh, quite a hobby. Yeah. It's wonderful. And quite an eye for the pretty girls. 
I don't know, she's uh, just an invention. This, this character, Rose, I call her Rose. Seems to disappear later on. Oh, that's the box, the blue box. It's always there. Um, like, a, a, like a magic carpet. This, this fun little box that transports me to faraway places. Like a doorway? Hmm. I sometimes think how magical life would be if stories like this were true. If only. Or just a dream. <laughs> It, don't worry. He did say I could read it. But it's silly, that's all. Just stories. Who is he, Martha? I'm sorry? It's like he's left the kettle on. Like, he knows he has something to get back to, but he can't remember what. That's just him. <laughs> you arrived with him, didn't you? He found your employment here at the school, isn't that right? I, I used to work for the family. He just sort of inherited me. Mm. Well, I'd be careful. If you don't mind my saying, you sometimes seem a little familiar with him. Best remember your position. Yes, ma'am. Falling in love? That didn't even occur to him? No. Then what sort of man is that? And now you expect me to die? It was always going to end, though. The doctor said the family's got a limited lifespan. That's why they need to consume a Time Lord. Otherwise, three months and they die. Like mayflies, he said. So your job was to execute me? People are dying out there. They need him and I need him. Cos you've got no idea what he's like. I've only just met him. It, it wasn't even that long ago, but... <laughs> he is everything. He's just everything to me and he doesn't even look at me, but I don't care. Cos I love him to bits. And I hope to God he won't remember me saying this. It's getting closer. I should have thought of it before. I can give them this. Just the watch. Then they can leave her like the stairs I am. You can't do that! If they want the doctor, they can have it. He'll never let you do it. And if they get what they want, then... Then, then it all ends in destruction. I never read to the end. Those creatures would live forever. To breed and conquer a war across the stars for every child. Martha, Timothy, would you leave us alone, please? Love you. If he's not you, then I don't want him to. I had one husband and he died, and I, I never thought ever again. And then you. So. And it was real, I wasn't. I really thought. Let me see. Blasted thing. Blasted, blasted thing. Can't even hear it. It says nothing to me.
The Time Lord has such adventures. But he could never have a life like that. And yet I could. What are you going to do? I don't care about this doctor and your family. I just want you to go. So I've made my choice. You can have him. Just take it, please, take him away. Last. Don't think that saved your life. Family of mine. Now we shall have the lives of a Time Lord. It's empty. Well, where's it gone? You tell me. Oh, I think the explanation might be you've been fooled by a simple olfactory misdirection. A little bit like ventriloquism of the nose. It's an elementary trick in certain parts of the galaxy. But it has got to be said. I don't like the look of that hydroconometer. It seems to be indicating you've got energy feedback all the way through the retro stabilizers feeding back into the primary heat converters. Oh! Because if there's one thing you shouldn't have done, you shouldn't have let me press all those buttons. But, in fairness, I will give you one word of advice. Run! Get out! Get out! He never raised his voice. That was the worst thing. The fury of the Time Lord. And then we discovered why. Why this doctor, who had fought with gods and demons, why he'd run away from us and hidden. He was being kind. <coughs> he wrapped my father in unbreakable chains, forged in the heart of a dwarf star. He tricked my mother into the event horizon of a collapsing galaxy to be imprisoned there forever. He still visits my sister once a year, every year. I wonder if one day he might forgive her, but there she is, can you see? He trapped her inside a mirror, every mirror. If ever you look at your reflection and see something move behind you just for a second, that's her. That's always her. As for me, I was suspended in time, and the doctor put me to work standing over the fields of England as their protector. We wanted to live forever, so the doctor made sure that we did. I'm a time traveler. Or I was. I'm stuck. In 1969. We're stuck. All the space and time he promised me. Now I've got a job in a shop. I've got to support him. Martha. Sorry. I've seen this bit before. Quite possibly. 1969. That's where you're talking from. Afraid so. But you're replying to me. You can't know exactly what I'm going to say 40 years before I say it. 38? getting this down. I'm writing in your bits. How? How is this possible? Tell me. Not so fast. Uh, people don't understand time. It's not what you think it is. Then what is it? Complicated. Tell me. Very complicated. I'm clever and I'm listening and don't patronize me because people have died and I'm not happy. Tell me. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. Yeah, I've seen this bit before. You said that sentence got away from you. It got away from me, yeah. Next thing you're going to say is, well, I can hear you. Well, I can hear you. This is impossible. No, it's brilliant. Well, I'm not hear you exactly, but I know everything you're going to say. Always give me the shivers, I bet. How can you know what I'm going to say? Look to your left. 
What does he mean by look to your left? I've written tons about that on the forums. I think it's a political statement. He means you. What are you doing? I'm writing in your bits. That way, I've got a complete transcript of the whole conversation. Wait until this hits the net. This will explode the egg forums. I've got a copy of the finished transcript. It's on my order queue. How can you have a copy of the finished transcript? It's still being written. I told you I'm a time traveller. I got it in the future. OK, let me get my head around this. You're reading aloud from a transcript of a conversation you're still having. Uh, uh, Weebly wobbly, timey wimey. Oh, actually, never mind that. You can do shorthand. So? What matters is we can communicate. We have got big problems now. They have taken the blue box, haven't they? The angels have the phone box. The angels have the phone box. That's my favourite. I've got that on a T-shirt. What do you mean, angels? You mean those statue things? Creatures from another world. But they're just statues. Only when you see them. What does that mean? Lonely assassins, they used to be called. No one quite knows where they came from, but they're as old as the universe, or very nearly. And they have survived this long because they have the most perfect defense system ever evolved. They are quantum locked. They don't exist when they're being observed. The moment they are seen by any other living creature, they freeze into rock. No choice, it's a fact of their biology. In the sight of any living thing, they literally turn to stone. And you can't kill a stone. Of course, a stone can't kill you either, but then you turn your head away. Then you blink. And oh, yes, it can. Don't take your eyes off that. That's why they cover their eyes. They're not weeping. They can't risk looking at each other. Their greatest asset is their greatest curse. They can never be seen. Loneliest creatures in the universe. And I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. It's up to you now. What am I supposed to do? The blue box, it's my time machine. There is a world of time energy in there. They could feast on forever, but the damage they could do could switch off the sun. You have got to send it back to me. How? How? And uh, that's it, I'm afraid. There's no more from you on the transcript. That's the last I've got. I don't know what stopped you talking, but I can guess. They're coming. The angels are coming for you. But listen, your life could depend on this. Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. They are fast, faster than you could believe. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't blink. Good luck. Never could keep time. Always late, always lost. Even this thing never worked. Martha, this watch is me. I'm gonna become human. Always running out on me. Can I have a look at that? No, it's, it's only an old relic. <laughs> like me. Where did you get it? Hmm? I was found with it. What do you mean? An orphan in the storm. I was a naked child found on the coast of the Silver Devastation. Abandoned with only this. Have you ever opened it? Why would I? It's broken. How do you know it's broken if you've never opened it? It's stuck. It's old. It's not meant to be. I don't know. Does it matter? No. It's... it's nothing. It's... Listen, everything's fine up here. I'm going to see if the doctor needs me. Human. And it's the same watch. Can't be. That means 
you could be a Time Lord. You might not be the last one. John, keep it low! That's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's good, it's good. Which one? Brilliant, fantastic, yeah. But they died, the Time Lords. All of them, they died. Not if he was human. What did he say, Mother? What did he say? He looked at the watchdog. He could hardly see it, like that perception filter thing. What do I know? Can you see it now? Tardy. The time vortex. <laughs> Regeneration. Regeneration. The drum is the drum. The drum is the never-ending drum beat. Open me, you human fool. Open the light and summon me and receive my majesty. Would you please take some rest, though? You escaped the time world and it's a perfect place to hide. The end of the universe. Think what the face of Bo said. His dying words. He said. Stop and have a nice little chat while I tell you all my plans and you can work out a way to stop me. I don't think. Hold on, I know that voice. <gasps> I'm asking you really properly to stop. Just think. Use my name. Master. I'm sorry. Tough! I don't think anyone 
Jones or make anything new. I've got this tuned into the government wavelength so we can follow what Saxon's doing. Yeah, I meant about my family. Still says the Jones family taken him for questioning. Tell you what, though, no mention of Leo. He's not as daft as he looks. I'm talking about my brother on the run. How did this happen? Nice chips. Actually, they're not bad. So, Doctor, who is he? How come the ancient society of Time Lords created a psychopath? And what is he to you? Like a colleague or...? Friend at first. I thought you were gonna say he was your secret brother or something. <laughs> You've been watching too much TV. <laughs> but all the legends of Gallifrey made it sound so perfect. Well, perfect to look at, maybe. And it was. It was beautiful. We used to call it the shining world of the Seven System. And on the continent of wild endeavor, in the mountains of solace and solitude, there stood the citadel of the Time Lords. The oldest and most mighty race in the universe. Looking down on the galaxies below. Sworn never to interfere, only to watch. Children of Gallifrey, taken from that family's age of eight, to enter the academy. Some say that's where it all began. When he was a child. That's when the master saw eternity. As a novice, he was taken for initiation. He stood in front of the untempered schism. It's a gap in the fabric of reality, through which could be seen the whole of the vortex. We stand there. Eight years old. Staring at the raw power of time and space, just a child. Some would be inspired. Some would run away. And some would go mad. You. Oh, the ones that ran away, I never stopped. Encrypt the channel with files attached. Don't recognize it. Mm. Patch it through the lab. Um, since we're telling stories, um, there's something I haven't told you. You work for Torchwood. I swear to you, it's different. It's changed. There's only a half dozen of us now. Torchwood did, and you're part of it. The old regime was destroyed at Canary Wharf. I rebuilt it, I changed it. And when I did that, I did it for you in your honor. So, what do we do with this one? We kill him. We execute him. No, that's not the solution. You're my responsibility from now on. The only Time Lord left in existence. Yeah, but you can't trust him. No. The only safe place for him is the TARDIS. You mean you're just gonna keep me? Hmm. If that's what I have to do. It's time to change. Maybe I've been wandering for too long. Now I've got someone to care for. Put it down. There you go. I've got you. I've got you. It's only a bullet. Just regenerate. No. One little bullet. Come on. I guess you don't know me so well. I refuse. Regenerate. Just regenerate. Please. Please. Just regenerate. Come on. I spend the rest of my life imprisoned with you. You've got to. Come on. You can't end like this. You and me. All the things we've done. Axons. Remember the axons? And the Daleks. We're the only two left. And no one else. Regenerate! How about that? I win. Wait, stop, Doctor. The drumming. Will it stop?
every single one of these people knew your name. Now they've all forgotten you. Good. Back to work. I really don't mind, though. Come with me. Had plenty of time to think that past year. The year that never was. And I kept thinking about that team of mine. Like you said, Doctor, responsibility. Defending the Earth. Can't argue with that. Hey, I need that. I can't have you walking around with a time-traveling teleport. You could go anywhere. Twice. Second time to apologize. And what about me? Can you fix that? Will I ever be able to die? Nothing I can do. You're an impossible thing, Jack. <laughs> Been called that before. <laughs> Sir? Ma'am? But I keep wondering, what about aging? Because I can't die, but I keep getting older. The odd little gray hair, you know? What happens if I live for a million years? I really don't know. <laughs> okay, vanity, sorry. Yeah. Can't help it. Used to be a poster boy when I was a kid, living in the Beauchene Peninsula. Tiny little place. I was the first one ever to be signed up for the time agency. They were so proud of me. The face of Bo, they called me. Hm. I'll see you. Can't be. No. <laughs> Definitely not, no. years training to be a doctor, now I've got people to look after. They saw half the planet slaughtered and they're devastated. I can't leave them. Of course not. Thank you. Jones, you saved the world. Yes, I did. I spent a lot of time with you thinking I was second best, but you know what? I am good. Hmm. <laughs> Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.